My, my name is Fernando dos Santos, uh, national of uh, Mozambique. Uh, currently, I'm the Director General of the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization, uh, ARIPO. Um, I came into this position in uh, 2013 uh, after another experience as the um, Director General of the Industrial Property Institute of uh, my home country, uh, Mozambique. Um, this was a direct effect of um, uh, attending uh, uh, training uh, activities organized by the uh, WIPE Academy, namely uh, the master degree on intellectual property in its first edition in 2000, uh, which was organized um, uh, jointly with the University of Turin at the International uh, Center of the International Labor Organization in Turin in Italy. Um, when I joined the, that first uh, program, that first intake, I have just been uh, graduated from a uh, university in, uh, in Italy. I didn't know exactly uh, what to do after that, so I attended um, um, a postgraduate course on international trade law. That was my first experience with intellectual property. And um, after having some modules on uh, IP, I decided to write my monograph on intellectual property. Uh, actually, it was about technology transfer. Um, uh, so I got really interested in this uh, topic, it was new for, for me and it was uh, very exciting for all of us. Um, and fortunately, that same year, uh, WIPO was launching the MIP program uh, with the Uni University of Turin. So I decided to take that program. And uh, after that, um, I continued my interest uh, and taking a number of uh, other uh, distance learning courses of the academy just to deepen my knowledge. Um, and it happened that uh, indeed after three years I was invited by the government of my country to establish the first uh, intellectual property office in my country. So um, I decided to accept and I left Europe and went to my country and established the office uh, where I stayed for uh, nine years and then now I'm at the Aripo. I think circumstances uh, took me to really uh, get in touch with the, with WIPO in that in that moment. That was the opportunity that I I I, I got, and actually um, I was not sure if I could undertake it because I didn't have uh, enough resources to uh, fund uh, uh, that program. Uh, but after some time, when, when I had given up uh, in taking the program, I was called by, by, by WIPO Academy uh, to inform me that uh, I was granted the scholarship. So uh, I decided to take the, 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 the course. But it was a really good experience because it was unique in the sense that uh, uh, different from any other program where probably you would find it in one university, maybe focusing in a, a certain country. The WIPO Academy MIP course in Turin, uh, were, the participants were drawn from many places from, uh, of the world. We had colleagues from Asia, Latin America, uh, Africa, Europe, uh, America. So uh, it, was, it was unique in that sense because, and also the environment of where the uh, course is taking place, is a place, an international place where every day you, knew, uh, you, you find and you meet uh, new people. Um, and that was really exciting and unique as experience. Um, uh, the friendship that I forged at that time, I, I still, you know, in touch with a number of people uh, with whom I, I met and I worked with, I started with uh, at that time. So it was a really an enriching experience and unique uh, as, um, as uh, the way it was organized. Well, they, 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 they are all uh, very rich courses, to, to be honest. For someone who is starting from scratch and he doesn't know about IP, uh, uh, you, you have a range of uh, uh, courses and offers uh, from the distance learning courses 001 up uh, until the most specialized course. And the good thing of, of that is that uh, you are supported by people who are experienced, um, the, the tutors and the, everyone, these are people who had gained the experience uh, in the field. Uh, they are working in that area and also they are, are qualified uh, academically 
So uh, these are very rich courses uh, really to, to undertake and uh, uh, you know that you will be uh, followed by experienced people and people who are skilled. Uh, with regard specifically to the master's degree uh, program, uh, after uh, uh, 10 years of, of, of that program, and actually today I think it's more than 15 years that the program is there, uh, I believe it is, is improved uh, from uh, where it was, uh, but was already a, a good course as, as was structured. Uh, the, um, the, the, the lecturers uh, come from, you know, uh, 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 universities, they come from industry, they come from uh, 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 organizations like, like WIPO. So once again, you are having a pool of uh, people and the resources uh, that uh, uh, have the capacity to transmit the message. And uh, uh, it's, it's good also that uh, uh, when someone comes out from, from, from that course, realize that there's so much to, to learn. So usually those who goes through the, the, this process, uh, uh, it's very difficult for them to, to move away from IP because you, you realize that there's uh, plenty of experience, plenty of knowledge that you can still uh, gain. So usually continue. So a number of people who attended this course, then they continue to pursue their PhD programs. They continue, you know, in, in the industry working in the, in the, in the area of, uh, of IP. Um, some of us, we ended up in the IP offices. Uh, so all this shows that the program is relevant and the way it is developed, uh, it's really targets um, the, the different areas and give you skills to go and deliver in those different places. So I believe that is a, a, a course that if someone really, really takes, uh, I, I may not say 100% is, is guaranteed of success in the future, but you have all the, the, the conditions really to, to, to go ahead and be successful in life. I'm also a tutor of the uh, um, programs in the academy and uh, I've been tutor for, for many years, now more than, than, than 10 years. Uh, and once again, this confirms the interest that I got uh, in terms of the activities that are organized by the, the WIPO Academy. Um, uh, and, and that was another very interesting uh, experience and also uh, a good idea in, in terms of going back to the people who were trained by the same academy, who now have skills, now have experience in the field, uh, to come and you know give back to the academy. So it was uh, again um, a very um, a, 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 an, an um, enriching experience and also gratifying for me because uh, uh, from the academy, uh, I may say I have. Um, changed my life uh, to become an IP, you know, uh, uh, um, a developer or uh, interested person in, in this area, to also be someone who uh, can really uh, teach other people to come into the field and to deliver in, in this field. The WIPE Academy uh, courses that I have teached, once again, were very interesting because I was uh, interacting with people from, from different countries. Um, I've been working um, uh, mainly uh, with the Portuguese-speaking countries, so all the Lusophone countries, and people whom I met uh, uh, virtually uh, during the courses. Some of them then I met, uh, you know, physically. Uh, we forged friendship, uh, we forged uh, professional relationships, um, and uh, I still keep in touch with a number of, of, of those people. It's again another opportunity that was given to me, uh, you, know, you know, to deliver and give back to uh, to the world in terms of uh, IP development, because uh, I believe that education is the most powerful tool that is there, you know, to develop and uh, and, and 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 forge the world, and therefore the opportunity that I was given, uh, you know, through uh, tutoring uh, courses and. The, uh, getting in, uh, being in interaction with the, with those people, helped me to transmit them the experience that I have, helped me you know to uh, direct those people you know to to really uh, love IP and uh, work on the IP field and uh, change uh, the situations in their countries, their IP office, wherever they are they are, um, and I believe that it's it's the the way to go. Uh, there are so many people out there who would like to know about IP who would be happy uh, to work in this area. But we can't reach everywhere, you know, physically with the MIP program, with the seminars, with the conference. So distance learning is a, a, a tool that is very important really to reach out people there and uh, educate them about intellectual property.
as a ripple, um, since 2008, uh, we are organizing jointly with the, the WIPO Academy and uh, the African University, which is based in Mutare in Zimbabwe, uh, this master program on, on intellectual property. Uh, this program, once again, had a great impact in the continent, the whole continent. Um, in nine editions, we have trained uh, more than 247 people who are now graduated as a master degree program on intellectual property. Now, these 247 people, we just conducted a, a, a tracer trace study, and uh, we, 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 we discovered that almost all of them they are active in the area of intellectual property. Um, some are now in the intellectual property office, working there as examiners, uh, officers, and some of them, they became the heads of the IP office due to the, uh, uh, this program. Some are patent agents, trademark attorneys, uh, some other are in, uh, in, in the courts. Some uh, courts, we had a, a, the case of uh, uh, the commercial court in Ghana, for example, that directly requested us to train their judges. And uh, after training those judges with the, the course, they uh, created the section on intellectual property in the, in the, in, in the commercial court um, uh, in, the, uh, in, in Ghana. And this is happening in many other countries. So these people that were, were trained uh, by the WIPO Academy with, in collaboration with Aripo and the Africa University are changing the landscape of IP in the continent. Um, they are not coming from uh, the Aripo member states only but they come from more than 25 countries uh, in the African continent. So this is a program that is open to uh, anyone in the continent to, to attend. We have even uh, people, candidates, uh, 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 who are from other countries outside Africa who are interested in the program. But because of the limitations that we have in terms of funding, uh, we cannot uh, uh, take them and we have limited ourselves in training people from Africa. Uh, every year we receive more than 100 applications for this program, but we only have the capacity to uh, uh, receive 30 to 40 uh, students. That means that uh, more than 60 people every year fail to have the opportunity to be trained. And that shows that we need uh, to come out with the other solutions in terms of uh, you know, offering this program to, to more people because they're interested and they want to work uh, in, in this area. The, the MIP program um, in, in Mutare, in, in Zimbabwe indeed, is a success story once again because um, from this program really uh, we've been able to capacitate, uh, create those skills that the continent uh, is in need. It's uh, one of the platform that uh, really allows African people today to uh, dialogue, to discuss about the intellectual property issues. We have just uh, established a, a journal. It's called African Journal on Intellectual Property. We are now in a second issue. Uh, uh, the first one was launched uh, last year. Uh, and this is again the platform that we are providing to our uh, master program students and any other academic people who want to write articles uh, that are focusing on uh, intellectual property uh, in Africa. We believe that will be again another platform, intellectual platform, academic platform that will allow us to, um, you know, mainstream discuss, you know, issues related to, uh, to the continent. We would like to see these initiatives growing and having more and more of, of these opportunities. So we have been in touch with some university whom um, would be interested in establishing master's degree program on intellectual property. We know that there are limitations. The WIPE Academy cannot be everywhere in the world. But uh, I think we need to be creative in coming out with other initiatives. We cannot every year leave out more than 60 people who would like to learn about intellectual property. And we are interested in having people who are educated about intellectual property. And they are out there and they cannot access these uh, opportunities. So uh, once again, this is uh, something that is open to debate. And uh, uh, how do we reach out? those people who would like to learn more about in, in intellectual property. We, we believe that um, more will come, more can happen in terms of uh, the development of IP, but I think the basic ingredient for the development of IP, uh, IP in the African continent is education about IP. It's creating awareness, it's uh, involving more and more universities and research institutions in uh, intellectual property.